What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Breaking It Down. I'm your host, as always, Riley Feenan. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Let's get into the episode. The big dog of the week is going to be Taylor Lewan. We're going to be breaking down his film. The first round pick uh, out of Michigan, I believe, way back when. Uh, he's been a consistent part of the Tennessee Titans offense, uh, their organization, um, and everything, th- kind of what they stand for. He kind of um, embraces the whole underdog mentality. He loves talking that noise. He loves playing in your face, raw, raw, kind of, I don't care what you have to say. I'm going to do whatever I want, and I'm going to run your ass over while I'm doing it. Um, he has takes, taken his uh, knocks. You guys can say whatever you want. Oh, he got knocked out or, uh, you know, he tore his knee or whatever. The, whatever you guys want to say, I don't care. The haters will hate forever. But I'm a big fan of Taylor Lewan's, and that's why I'm going to be doing his – uh, breakdown this week is kind of just so I can show big time plays that have been a staple in Derrick Henry's career, but they've also been big time plays for Taylor Lewant and why he's made a ton of money. Um, he's awesome. He's an he's an all pro. He's had fantastic seasons, Pro Bowls, but this upcoming season i think he's a candidate for the comeback player of the year i i think he's a strong candidate if derrick henry comes out has maybe another 2000 yard season they kind of look at why that happened um it's going to be a little bit difficult there are some big time candidates out there for the comeback player of the year but i don't really want to talk about them right now i want to talk about big taylor lawan big taylor lawan and what he brings to the offensive line position and the tackle position double sevens um big fan of his let's do this all right so play number one is going to be a inside zone that everyone's going to be moving to the left and moving towards taylor the one side they got double tight um up top all moving to one side they, but watch taylor the one communicate with his offense uh c- communicate with his other offensive linemen and be able to make this finesse block. This is a finesse block because he has to get his hands inside and force this out um, and kick this out. And then there's a massive hole. A semi truck could have drove through this. See, he's communicating with his other guys, gets good extension, and that's all he needs to do. We're going to watch it one more time, and I want you to see this racing stance that we see out of Taylor Lewan is his staple and i think it's a fantastic he looks like a defensive lineman going backwards his stance is so fluid he looks so nasty coming out of it um and i think he's more agile and he's more explosive coming out of it he's everything that he does is so compact finesse but he's also it's controlled aggression uh sometimes it's not controlled aggression he has been kicked out of a couple games i'm pretty sure and taken a few penalties but it's controlled aggression he's a very intelligent uh, dude, he's he's done breakdowns on the NFL Network, and he's very, very intelligent. Uh, he knows the game inside and out, and he also knows the position. So you'll watch him use his use his own body um, against the defender right here, and he contorts it so he's able to put himself between him and Derrick Henry because he knows where Derrick's – he might know where Derrick's going to be because um, they ran this play so many times. You're going to watch his hands and the extension right there. That's great. It's fantastic extension. Hand to hip, hand in the rib area like we talked about before. Uh, Great run here, Derrick Henry, and uh, he's off to the races. All right, this is actually going to be really quick. This is uh, play number two. This is from a few years ago. Marcus Mariota is the starting quarterback. I believe Jadavion Clowney is playing um, for the Tennessee – or for Houston Texans here. He's actually lined up right here, but this is actually going to go weak side. They got this is this looks like the formation that they just ran with the double tights and the extended offensive line to kind of run that inside zone. But they're actually going to flip it out here. Ben Jones, the center, is going to scoop out and sneak out. But this is just a savvy play. This is what I wanted to show that um, Taylor Lewan, I think, plays plays the game with people that he uh, he's. You know, he doesn't care 
but at the end of the day, he's he's really smart. Uh, he 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 thinks he can outsmart you. Uh, I think this is a smart, savvy play because he sifts through and meets the middle linebacker right here, and Derrick Henry's off to the races again. That's all he needs. And it's off to the races. It's that simple. Like it, it, it can be, but if Taylor Lewan doesn't get that block, the outside linebacker is most likely making that play. So we're going to watch it again from this angle, and you're going to see Taylor Lewan sift through a kind of a little bit of a mess uh, between the tackle and and the outside linebacker, and then he's going to kind of have to sit uh, right around this area on the hash because he's going to go to where the linebacker is going to be, not where he is. Luan will sift through, make this block, and it makes it go. He's got to go to where the linebacker is going to be. He's got to think ahead. Um, it also comes down to angles. Uh, he talks about math and um, geometry and stuff like that um, and and the way you need to get uh, to a position and to make big-time plays like this. And this is a big-time play by an offensive lineman. This would be a, uh, the equivalent of, a, of a, you know, an 80-yard, 90-yard run. Big time block. Deuces. See you later. Let's go, Sally. A little bit of extra there. Love the extra. If you didn't see it, one more time. A little bit of extra there. <laughs> you think they like running to the left side? Goes to where he's going to be, not to where he is. Offensive lineman, I always wanted to think, Okay, if you come with this move, I have this to counteract it. But if you come back with this, then I have to be able to come back. And that's where you – it's a lot – it's a mental game. At the same time, it is a physical game. And Taylor Lewan plays both. And I think he tries to outsmart everybody he tries to play. Uh, I think he tries to gain that little bit of a mental edge on people. So everyone knows what's about to happen. It's going to be the 99-yard touchdown by Derrick Henry. But – uh, a little bit of background on this play. Taylor Lewan was describing it that uh, this was a check with me at the line. You'll see Marcus Mariota kind of uh, check out of it, and then they actually run the play because it was going to be a. I think, I think it was going to be a hard count or a play pass. I don't remember what exactly what he described it as, um, but it was going to be uh, not going to be a run call. So Marcus checked it and. It's going to come off. The, there's the check with me. Luan's going to come off the ball, and he ends up with a pancake block against the guy Malik Jackson. And Derrick Henry's gone. And this takes quite some time because we're still at the 40, the 50. He's still running, I think. Um, 99 yards. It's got to start from somewhere, right? So watch the wedge block that comes in from Taylor Luan. Boom, comes off the ball, finish it with a pancake, and the rest is history. All right, this is the last play. This is uh, a six-yard run or seven-yard run. I don't care what it is. This is Taylor Lewan coming off the football and being nasty, mean, and controlled aggression, like I said, and then he talks noise. This play, I think, just sums up Taylor Lewan, his career, and who he is uh, as a football player. You're going to see he's the left tackle up here. And then he's talking that noise. Then he's talking the noise after the play. This race car stance, that's what I'm going to call it. This race car stance or NASCAR stance, look how much lower his hips are than everybody else. Low man wins. Uh, Nate Davis over here has got pretty low hips too. Same time out of your stance. Jack Coughlin's a... And an all pro Roger Saffold's been a pro bowler. Ben Jones is a, is a great center. This offensive line as a whole is phenomenal. And then you got big Derrick Henry back here. These guys were built for success as an offensive line. But this, this is controlled aggression. This NASCAR stance is something that I might teach when, when I have an opportunity to coach again, this NASCAR stance is phenomenal. Um, because he's so explosive and he just gets out of his stance so fast. So much nastier, so much more aggressive. It's like a four-yard play, and then he's talking noise.
he just turns and looks right at the sideline. We're going to go one more time from this angle because you'll see him kind of get zoomed in on. Nasty to come off the ball like that. And that's all about the stance. And I keep reiterating that the stance, um, because that's where it starts. The play starts with your hand in the dirt and Taylor Lewan already starts lower than his, you know, defensive counterpart. And he's just going to come off the ball and he's going to beat your ass. All right, that's going to do it for us, guys. Appreciate you guys watching the video. If you guys have made it this far, hit that subscribe button. We appreciate everybody giving us the love and support. It's awesome. Guys, comment, like, subscribe. Um, do all that fun stuff, all that YouTube stuff. I don't know. I'm still getting used to this. I love it. I love it. Breaking it down. Another episode in the books. Taylor Lewan. Shout out to you.